I know it's been a really long time, but I've had a lot of things going on in my life. So, today is going to be an outfit of the day. Mm-hmm. So, let's get started. Alright, so the top that I am wearing is from Ross. Uh, I did get recently, so you could probably still find it in the store. It was $13, super affordable. I really like the pattern. This is a large, I couldn't find it in an extra large, but honestly, I'm losing weight. So the fact that it can fit into this is amazeballs. Though it will probably fit a little bit better once I lose some more weight. I don't know if I've told you guys this or not, but I've lost about 15 pounds already. Um, and I'm going to, I, I, I plan on losing more weight. And these jeans are from Walmart. These are, these are what I call good butt jeans. And I say this because if you're apple shaped like I am, you need to get a pair of jeans like this. So what I mean by good butt, it's got really big detailed pockets in the back. So it makes my butt look bigger than it actually is. And um, depending on your body type, that could be a good or a bad thing. And it has like the little flit, like um, flaps on top. So it just emphasizes the pockets even more. And the thicker embroidery and detailing just makes it look bigger and fuller and rounder and such. And these are boot cut. And if you're apple shaped, this is a very good style of jean for you. It's gonna help even out your body. Um, just because it's slightly wider towards the bottom and it's going to help proportion your body out because when you're apple shaped you're usually very top heavy and then your lower portion of your body is more uh, smaller. So this helps give the illusion of a more balanced body type. Um, these I got these a really long time. These are from Walmart. There are no boundary jeans. Um, yeah. They're really, really nice jeans. I didn't expect them to be. And then the shoes are from Walmart. Woohoo! I got these a really long time ago. I don't know if you can see the detailing. And then for the jewelry. I made this so you really can't go and buy it, but you could probably make it considering the majority of these beads are from Michael's in the craft store. Some of them are from um, a specific bead store though, so, and I won't be saying the name because if I tell you where I got it from, you'll know where I'm, where, where, like around the vicinity where I live, so, no. <laughs> And then for the makeup, I am wearing my Bobbi Brown foundation stick, and this is in the shade 4.25 Naturally Tan. And then for the lipstick, I decided to go with a more of a brown. I don't know, I just felt very earth tony today. And it is actually a mix of Wet n Wild's Mink Brown and Milani's Teddy Bear. So I layered the colors just because I needed to. And then for the blush, eh, for the blush, it is the Jordana Terracotta blush. And then for the highlight, it's the Elf golden bronzer and then of course for contouring I went really light on the contour I don't know if you guys could tell but of course it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I don't know if you guys can see my eyeshadow 
maybe. But um, I'm not wearing any eyeliner or mascara. It's just eyeshadow. And basically what it is, is it's from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I used Smog. And then on top of that, I used the Geek Chic Cosmetics from the Awesome Mix. The eyeshadow I Am Garoot. And I basically put that on top. I don't know. Can you guys tell? See that sparkle? See the shimmer? See the green? That is that eyeshadow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, I used the Naked to blend that out from the Urban Decay palette. Just so it's not so rough. No harsh, e no <laughs> harsh edges. I can't talk today, but then again, when can I ever talk? <laughs> mm, never, apparently. So yeah, that is it for the makeup and the outfit. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!